Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys a Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo The Hunted Carnival. Uh, this is a little golden book. Let's get into this. I used to love Scooby-Doo. I don't really watch it too much. <laughs> one, summer, some one summer day, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Scrappy-Doo decided to take a break from detective work and go to a carnival. Like, let's investigate what kind of food they have, Shaggy suggested. Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrappy followed their noses to the hot dog stand as the others went to find fun games to play. They always looking for food. With hot dogs in hand, Shaggy Scooby, Scooby and Scrappy boarded the roller coaster. As they got to the top of the tracks, Scrappy Doo noticed that the ride attendant had disappeared. There was no one to slow down the cars as they headed toward a big curve. Quickly, Scrappy jumped from the car, climbed down the ride, and pushed the brake lever to stop. That was like too close for comfort, said Shaggy, when he and Scooby were safely on the ground. Meanwhile, Velma, Fred, and Daphne were trying their luck at a dart game. On her very first try, Velma popped a balloon, but the balloon was filled with paint that splattered everywhere. Hey, what kind of prank is this? Daphne demanded. She looked for the man who had been running the game, but he was gone. The whole gang met up and traded stories. Since something strange was definitely going on, they decided to stay together and check out the side show. They were enjoying watching Mr. Watching Mr. and Mrs. Gullet perform their sword-swallowing act until it was interrupted by a large cloud of smoke. Poof! A masked figure appeared. I am the Phantom of the Carnival, he yelled. I warned you. Disaster will strike. Run before it's too late. Then he vanished in every cloud and another cloud of smoke. The crowd panicked and ran for the gates. Soon, the carnival grounds were quiet, and it was getting dark. But Scooby and the gang didn't leave. They knew that they had a mystery to solve. Mr. and Mrs. Gullet arrived and explained that they had recently become owners of the carnival. This phantom is scaring away our customers, Mr. Gullet explained. Of course. Just then, a noise came from the House of Mirrors. Let's go, shouted fearless Scrappy-Doo as he rushed inside. Scrappy lunged at an image of the Phantom and slammed nose first into a mirror. Ha ha, you'll never catch me, chuckled the Phantom as he ran down the hallway. Instead of joining in the chase, Scooby crouched down and covered his head to hide. But when the phantom ran back down the hall, he tripped over Scooby and fell to the floor. Mr. Gullet reached down and pulled off the phantom's mask. Jinkies! That's the man from the dark game, Velma explained, exclaimed. And the guy running the roller coaster, said Scrappy. It's Scotty, one of our workers, said Mrs. Gullet. Mm, mm, mm. Your own workers. Why have you done this, Scotty? Asked Mr. Gullet. I wanted to buy the carnival, said Scotty. I thought if I scared everyone away, you might sell it to me. And it would have worked if I, it weren't for you kids and your mangy dogs. Like Scooby to the rescue, Shaggy said as he gave Scooby-Doo a hug. Rappy root said Scooby-Doo, happy as he smiled at his cousin. Aww. He basically said Scrappy too. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of Cartoons Network, Scooby-Doo, The Haunted Carnival. All right, guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. I hope you guys like that book. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
to my page if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can get the notification when I post new books up and uh, post new videos. All right, guys. Bye.